Hi, my name is Brian Wood. I'm a web developer and a trainer, and I've been so for years. And I've used DMX Zone extensions for years as well. So what I'd love to do is take you through and show you guys how to work with the HTML5 slideshow and the behavior connector. That's what we're going to focus on in this video. So get a final version of what I want to show you, which is actually pretty cool, pretty simple. But if we use the HTML5 slideshow as an extension, we put it on a page, you'll notice that we got a simple slideshow right here, pause, play button. You'll notice the text changing over here on the right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use the behavior connector to create a div and have the div content or the text of the div change when the image changes over here in the HTML5 slideshow. So let me go back over to Dreamweaver and I've got a start page open here and we'll start from scratch. So I've got a div available and what I want to do is insert the HTML5 slideshow. So we'll start there. So I've got this, my cursor out right here, I'll get rid of this text. Come over to the right, I've got my insert panel. You can go to the insert menu as well. Click HTML5 slideshow. And it's going to load it up here, and we can name it whatever we want. Now, I've already got my images sized. So we could use the DMX Zone Image Resizer, which automatically resizes your images. But like I said, I've already done those, so I'll turn that off. Come down here, I'm going to add my images. So I'll click Add New Image Slide. Now, that allows me to go in and pick files. I've got a, I'm just going to do a couple here. I, we could load this up with a bunch of pictures, but I just want to pick a couple. So I'll do Coast. There it is right there. I'll do one more. I'll do fountain. So what we're going to do is we're going to work on this site that is going to show off some different things that we have. So we've got, uh, you know, fish to sell, things like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to show our new location and we're going to show a koi pond that we have available. Now, if you notice here, you're going to see that the slideshow is pretty much done. I could go in and reorder these, change them. But what I'd like to do is just change the titles of these. So I'll come to coast here and say um, new location, something like that. I'll come to fountain and say that this is our koi pond, let's say. Now what I want to do is I want to create a div and have text change every time, like I said, these show up. Now we can do that by using the behavior connector. Now the behavior connector comes in whenever you see this little paperclip type deal. Now the first thing we need to do though is we need to go out, click OK, and create some content or container to help hold this uh, text we're going to change. So I'll click OK. It's going to put it out there, which is great. Now, I can change all the properties down here, and I'm going to turn off. Oh, you know what? I'll keep the motion on. It's fine. I'm going to change the slide duration, though, and have it be quicker so you can see it happen faster. Now, we're going to insert a div, and I'll have it float to the right. So I'll have it go over here. So I want to put my cursor above this thing. So I'll usually put my cursor to the right here and then maybe use my arrow to the left. Go to my split code view. Take a look. You'll see that we've got this entry div here, and what I want to do is I'm going to insert a div right there. So I'll go over to insert on the right over the insert panel, choose common. I'll insert a div tag. Now you get, I've already created a style for this. So I'm going to say add insertion point, let's insert a div. And my ID style I called slide content. Now to do this, to have the picture change and roll over and have it pinpoint a certain div, let's say it's a div, uh, we need to use an ID. Okay, so you're not going to use a class for this necessarily. So I'll click OK, put it in there. There we go. Go to Design View. You'll see, there it is right there. Now, when we go into the Behavior Connector to say, when this shows up, this picture shows up, we want this to change, we want to type in some text. Now, we can put HTML in there. So that's what I'm going to do. I've already created it. So I'll go to Code over here. and I've created a little form, and I've created this text right here. So what we'll do is we'll do the uh, new facility first. So I'll select the code here. I will copy that. Now, you can always type it in where I'm about to show you, but I'll go to the Start. Click over here so we can get to the properties. Click on slides down here in the property inspector. Come back in. Now, I've got the coast right here. So I'm going to click on the paper clip here, which says let's add or edit behavior. It'll take us to the behavior connector. Now, tons of stuff we can do in here. And one of the great things is we can even connect to another extension, which I'm going to do another video on how to connect to uh, sliding panels and maybe a couple other things. But we also have the ability to do all sorts of built-in behaviors, some things that uh, Dreamweaver has as well. But you'll see right here that I choose my event first typically. So I'm going to say when the image is displayed, come over here, I'm going to say set text of container. Now you can have a frame out there, a status bar, text field, whatever you want to do. I'll click the arrow to edit. It's going to come over here to container and say, okay, well, which container do you want? You'll notice I've got all my headings, my anchor tags, things like that I can use, which is cool. But as far as my divs are concerned, I'll say there's my slide content div. 
And what I'll do is come into my HTML right here and just paste. And there we go. I could have, like I said, I could have typed that in if I wanted. I'll click OK. Image is displayed. We'll see an asterisk there because it's saying, you know, you've done it on that event. Now, we could say when the image is hidden, let's do something else. That's fine as well. There's a lot of things we can do here. But anyway, I'll click OK here. That's for the coast. You'll notice the paperclip, add edit behaviors, is now red. So if I were to click on font, you'll see it's actually a bluish color. So if it's red, typically that means something's been done to it. I'll click OK. And I'll test it out. So I'll go out to the browser. And I could test in live view, but I don't like the uh, the motion as much in here. So we'll just see what it looks like, like I'll say in Firefox. Now when you guys do save this and you ins insert the... Uh, you know, the HTML5 slideshow and things like that, it will ask you to you to grab a bunch of files and maybe upload them. Uh, but I've already done that because you can see that I already had a demo going. So so there we go. It's automatically put out there on new facility site. And you can see we've got the player out here, which I can change and move around, that sort of thing. Now, last thing I'll do is just one more. So I'll come back. I want to make sure that before I go to slides down here, I'll go to my code. I'm going to grab this form and this heading tag here. So we can do a lot of things with this. We can put pictures, just about any HTML you can think of. I'll copy that. I'll go to index start, go to slides. Once again, go to fountain here instead. Click on the add edit behaviors. Image is displayed. Come to set text. And you guys try anything in here. There's tons of stuff we can do, which is really cool. I'll add it. Wait a second. Let it figure out all the containers. It has to go through the whole page, you guys, to find all the containers. I'll say slide content, and I'll paste my stuff in there. I'll click OK, and there we go. I'll click OK to that. Turn red, there we go. Click OK. Now that I have the content in there, what I'd like to do is make a few changes, but let's go take a look at it again first. So I'll go to Preview in Firefox, save it. Take a look out here, you'll see. New facility site. Go to the next one. Join our core club, there we go. Now, of course, they're going to have to pause this to be able to access that because it'll flip to the next screen, that kind of thing. But they'll figure that out pretty quickly. So the other thing I want to do is I can control the controller here. I can change the position, change the text, put it up here, that sort of thing, or make a change to this content. So let me do that. I'll go back. Got it out here. I'm going to go to Slides down here in the Property Inspector. And you can see I've got my two images in here. And what I'd like to do is just make a change here to the Koi one where they fill in a form. I'll click on the little Add Edit Behaviors right here, a little paper clip. You can see I've got the images displayed, set text of container. We can add several behaviors here if we want to in a row. I mean, you can do a lot of different things here. Different events, same event, multiple behaviors. I'll click Configure Selected Behavior. Should bring it in. It's got to think about it, look at everything. And then, you know, what I'll do is I can add changes, make changes here pretty quickly. So I'm going to say I want to add height to this. I'll say like height of 30 or something like that. And I'll just copy paste that. I just want to make my rows roughly the same height here. Just paste that there. Click OK. And there we go. I'll click OK. Now, another couple things we could do is if I go to Advanced over here, I'll click on the Advanced tab. We could do things like I said, change the controls, put them in different positions, you know, put them at the top, bottom, do not hide them, that sort of thing. That would actually be pretty cool. That way people could see that, you know, if they're going through and they want to be able to pause it and fill out the form, that sort of thing, they can auto-hide or not auto-hide that, so... Anyway, I'll click OK to this. I'll save my page. Now, one last little thing here, you guys. It takes a second to load the text in if that picture takes a little bit. So what I would do is in this div here, I'd just type in something cheap like this. <laughs> Loading. Why not? You know what I mean? Put a heading in there. Do whatever you want. Format that div. Put a background image, background color, whatever you'd like to do. It's up to you. All right, let me save it. Take a look at it. Once again, you could look at it in live view. I just don't like the Ken Burns effect in live view, so... New facility site. And if you take a look out here, it should take a switch. And there we go. Made the change. Pause it. Fill out the form. Get that thing sent off. And we should be good to go. So that's working with uh, the HTML5 slideshow and the behavior connector. There are so many wonderful things you guys can do together with them, as well as with other extensions. There's tons of things we can do. So like I said, just a quick intro into working with the behavior connector and extensions.